So, this dumbass bitch gonna steal my goddamn phone. And then got the nerve to call and act like she was goddamn foreign. You know what I'm saying? She called like, I do not understand. I, I do not understand. I am going to need, I am going to need the code to the phone. I do not understand. I do, bitch. <laughs> I'm not giving you no reward, bitch. <laughs> Trying to swindle the reward. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I don't fuck around, just got my little phone sent to me. It's a good thing I got insurance on my shit. Goddamn son of a bitch stole my shit. And just took that shit. Alright. Goddamn ho. <laughs> you ho, ho, ho. You ho, you bitch, you ho, you bitch. <laughs> you ho, you bitch, you ho. <laughs> ho, bitch, ho. <laughs> That's why I got insurance on that shit. Fuck that bitch. I cut that shit off. <laughs> I cut that line completely the fuck off. <laughs> Diego's in the building. Well, it's all good, man. Life is good, man. God is the greatest. Uh, the world's still spinning. You know what I mean? Mankind still love God like they always have, you know? Um, and all is well. You know what I'm saying? All is well. Biloxi, Mississippi, baby. Don't get no better, baby. Biloxi. How y'all go to sleep? How do, how do y'all go to sleep knowing ain't nobody playing y'all? Hold on, this how I do it. Ah. <laughs> 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 I sleep beautifully. <laughs> I sleep beautifully knowing a motherfucker ain't playing. Now, who, who out of all of y'all is still going through that bullshit? <laughs> I just, who, who right now is laying next to a motherfucker like, how did I get myself into this shit? <laughs> Reach out to me. Who is going through the bullshit? <laughs> Talk about motherfucker. Just stay asleep. Just say your bitch ass sleep. <laughs> just sleep with your bitch ass. I can't stand your bitch ass. <laughs> just, who is that? Who is that? My brother. <laughs> My brother said me, nigga. Motherfucking me. <laughs> he said I live here, nigga. Goddamn it. I'm right next to a motherfucker. I can't stand. I can't stand this motherfucker. <laughs> so I love you, but I can't stand your ass. <laughs> Shit. It's the best <clears throat> it's the best thing going. Um, don't let nobody fool you. It's you know, it's worth fighting for. It's worth going through a couple of hard knocks. It, you know, um anything that means something, it, it it might take a little work, you know. Even even if it don't work out in the long run, it's still worth fighting for. No matter what. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't look at look at it like nobody, no bad motherfucking person or no shit like that. But it's just sometimes motherfuckers' chemicals don't mix and mesh and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just be what it is. It should all bullshit to the side. I don't want to leave motherfuckers astray. Like love in a relationship is worth fighting for. It's worth stressing out over. Because, you know, that's, that's the meaning of this stuff to me. Find somebody to love, man. For real, for real. Find someone to love and love them good. Love them down, baby. Love them up and down. For real, for real. I like to give a special shout out to all the bitches that I was fucking with while I was smoking cigarettes. I know that shit was horrendous on y'all. Because, man, cigarettes smell fucked up. 
goddamn smell like <laughs> fucking the internet. <laughs> Nigga was walking around smelling like the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ego oil jacked up. <laughs> The um the the uh the cribs turning out good. I'm about to unload the unload the goddamn dresser and all that other shit. Gonna get it in. Just gonna unload that shit. Get ready to fucking build this shit. Goddamn fucked up. When people buy you shit, I wish they would have it already built. But look, you know that shit is like ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. So I'm really appreciative to everybody that um. That sent some stuff. For real, for real. Really, really cool shit. Really, really is. Hell yeah. So I'm just, just chilling. Today is a leisure day. So I'm just leisurely doing me. Hell yeah. Drinking wine, putting furniture together, getting ready for this baby, baby. Yeah, I got a couple of more songs that I'm about to put out there uh, for people to listen to. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I like to keep it funky. I like to keep that shit fresh. Be wine, what's good? Be wine, 25 Outlaw, what's good? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's the baby baby. You mean your baby babies? Yeah, yeah, my baby babies. My baby babies, baby. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Look, Pinot Noir. It's the thinnest wine. Thinnest red wine. If you want to get you some red wine and you don't like that heavy grape sh on your tongue, I'm going to get you some Pinot Noir. That shit light as fuck. Real light. was foggy as hell when I came out here. I'm like, oh shit, so we all smoking at night, ain't we babies? Pinot Noir. Um, P-I-N-O-T N-O-I-R Yeah. Yeah, it's my little jogging suit from Pink Dolphin. My homeboy Lobel picked this up for me. Shouts out to my motherfucker Lobel and shit. Got the little, you know, got the little shoes on, you know. You know, y'all know I bring the style to my niggas. I had to tell them niggas, look, take them big ass clothes off. <laughs> I had to go in, inside a Wishes closet. I went inside, uh, I'm always in Flesh and Bones closet. What the fuck is this? What, what kind of shit is I'm going to take this one with me. You don't need this one right here. You don't need this one right here. <laughs> I'm always in Wishbone closet. <laughs> I mean, Flesh's closet. That nigga keeps some fly shit. I'm like, I like this. This is nice. This is real nice. You don't need this. We're going to take this off your hands, player. Oh, yeah, definitely. Me and my niggas, we keep each other fly. Let me tell you, that nigga Lazy Bone, flyest nigga on the planet. He's one of the flyest niggas in Cleveland. I bullshit you not. Stylistic ass nigga, man. Real stylistic. My motherfucker right there. Special type of dude, man. Me and that nigga stood back to back many and many a nights in Cleveland. Just back to back, like, niggas would be talking shit. We don't even say shit. We just get back to back and put our hands up like, man, we light skin. We gonna have to fight out of this shit. <laughs> niggas used to be like, man, who is y'all niggas? Man, y'all some cool ass niggas. Y'all didn't even say anything. Y'all just went back to back and just said, like, come on, bitches, let's go. <laughs> That's how me and my nigga is and shit. <laughs> And always be me and that nigga. Always me and him, man. We always fighting big ass motherfucking niggas. All the fucking time since we was fucking kids and shit. Nigga be talking shit. Me and that nigga just go see the nigga and shit. <laughs> like shit, somebody finna get their ass whipped and we fight like a motherfucker nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my father never liked me. He used to whoop on my ass, and I'm about to take it out on you, bitch-ass niggas. <laughs> niggas had attitudes. 
light skin nigga complex. Man, I'm light skin nigga. I shoot fast. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> I think this bitch just at me. <laughs> this is for real. Well, be honest with you. I've always been a shooter out the crew and shit, so. You know, I, like a nigga throw his hands and shit, but. You know, everywhere where we go and everywhere where we used to go, I used to hold that gun. And it's just a look on your face when you got a gun that nobody seems to fuck with you. It's just a, a, a vibe or some shit. Like you walking it, like, you know what I'm saying? You be walking around, niggas be calling you out all day. You ain't got your heater on you, right? As soon as you get a heater on you, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't have shit to say. You feel me? Shouts out to my Hot Sauce Williams niggas um, out there in Cleveland. I remember we had a big ass hood fight with them niggas. And my homeboy was like, man, nigga, all you do is shoot people. You don't never fight. You can't fight. <laughs> I say, yeah, I can. I just like to shoot people, so I end it real quick. <laughs> I got shit to do. The club closes at 12.30. <laughs> they stop serving drinks at 1. <laughs> I need to get the drinks. <laughs> but, shouts out to my Hot Sauce Williams niggas. It was a cool little ass crew. We had it out with them niggas, too. That's when I can show it. That's when I show my nigga I can fight and shit. Like, oh, okay, you can fight. <laughs> like, yeah, nigga, I can fight, nigga. <laughs> I was rocking with two of them little niggas. <laughs> rocking with them. Oh, uh, no, nah, man. This is when we, you know, when we kids, man. When you, when you young, everybody forget. Bone Thugs and Harmony made it when they was kids. Nigga, we was like... I met Easy E when I was 16 years old, so we was all young. So all that street shit was like when we were kid, 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 kid kids. You know, I, after besides that, it's just we've been fucking niggas up, man. Like, nigga, we've been fucking niggas up. Every city we go to and shit, when niggas fuck with us or some shit like that, we're beating the dog fuck out the motherfuckers, cause we don't never be the aggressor. It always be some hater ass motherfucker. It's so bad that a nigga can't even get a punch in. It ain't no openings and shit. It's so many motherfuckers swarming him trying to fuck this nigga up. Niggas can't even get punches in. It's, I don't know. I just be. I can't even get a get a punch in and that shit. This, it's just overkill. I don't really talk that shit because I live that shit. I don't think it'd be hate. I just think sometimes niggas go to the club and want to get knocked the fuck out. I know shit sounds stupid and shit's dumb to me too. But some motherfuckers are determined to get knocked the fuck out. Flat out. I ain't seen this shit so many motherfucking times. I don't be knowing what the fuck be wrong with motherfuckers. But I spot them a mile. I'm like, this nigga want to get knocked out tonight. Cold like that cold like that. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy as hell. Nigga be trying to get me to knock him out, nigga. I ain't put my hands on you, nigga. They go on somewhere with that shit. You know, because I just, I keep it cool and shit. You know what I'm saying? I keep it as cool as I possibly can. You know, I'm one of them guys that, you know, I think I made amends with my own anger. You know what I'm saying? I think I made amends with it. Like, I just made amends with my own anger. It's it's just mostly to protect myself, you know. And that's about it. I'm cool dude, you know what I'm saying, besides that. I mean, making amends with your anger is like when you left by yourself. You know what I'm saying? I threw all the Hollywood stuff out of the door. I know who I am, but I just threw that out of the door for a while to just better myself. You know, I don't... I, I never lived like just singing and singing and rapping. I always had an introspective aspect to my life. I always, you know, try to make myself better and better and better and better and better and better and better. So, you know, lots of heavy thinking, lots of changing, 
as y'all see, you know what I'm saying, gave up the, you know what I mean, the, the, the cigarettes and the harsh, all that other shit, so it's just constant, you know, constant, but anyway, so it, I, me personally, I just threw away all the, you know, the fame and the notoriety and all of that other shit, and just dealt with the issues of anger within myself, whether it's road rage or, you know, frustration over whatever it may be to just better myself. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I think I made it, you know, I made an amends with my own anger. So it's really, really difficult for me to just love the fact of hitting a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Or wanting to start some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm serious as fuck and I'm just gonna, you know, be as cool with motherfuckers as I can, you know what I'm saying, so, because it ain't no turning back from that type shit, you know, just really, really ain't, so I gotta make sure that I'm in the right every step of the way, you know what I mean, so it's whatever drastic measures that may have to be taken, I was in the right, you know what I mean, legally and so on and so forth because he ain't no running and no hiding when you've been in this when you're in the public eye <clears throat> you can't blend in with the hood shall we say <clears throat> so that's the type of shit i be on like real shit you know what i'm saying i don't be on that dumb ass shit Yeah, can't blend in that. Nigga, that's busy ball right there. That's what motherfuckers gonna say. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I mean, I think we all have stuff to lose, but man, can't nobody be coming through and threatening your life and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? For real, this, that shit ain't gonna work, you feel me? Niggas don't play that bully shit, you know what I'm saying? Not here, like, I'm trying to keep it cool, you know? Change my ways for the better. That don't make you pussy, that just make you, get, you know, more mature, but you never, like, not who you are, like. It ain't like a facade or no shit like that. Nigga ain't joking around and shit. Nigga trying to keep himself together. Raise these babies and keep it popping. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... But, yeah, me and my niggas back in our younger, younger, younger days. Oh, man, shit, man. Back to back all the time. Just me and that nigga. Back to motherfucking back. My little nigga. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. We all human. We just have our, I just think we have our supernatural moments. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's a listening ear or a helpful voice, everybody had a moment. The talker and the listener are both equally important. You know? Real shit. There you go. No, uh, we all just bounced together. You know, we went in as a group. And it was no who made it first or who made it second. It was just we all together, we're going to do this. Everybody in Cleveland knew who we was. Our style was so different. You know, um, and, you know, we knew that it was imperative that we go and be heard by the top motherfuckers. And we met Easy e The rest is history, baby. North Carolina, baby. Boneyard, for sure. For sure, for sure.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit, thank you, B Wine. I appreciate you watching. That's nice, baby. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, Johannes, Joh Johannesburg. Nice. Nice, real nice. Oh, yeah, man. Working, working on being legendary. Columbus in the building. Working on being legendary. I think, um, I think it's, um, you know, I think it's a work in progress. And the reason why I say that is because knowing that you have a task and a goal, it keep you going. It keep you motivated and it keep you doing this shit for years and years and years and years to go. You know, um, real shit. Tombstone was a quiet type dude. Um, I seen him right before he got killed. At a Beyonce concert. Beyonce was in Cleveland and I got the red carpet treatment and shit. They put my little chair where, you know, in the divider part so I could just sit there and watch the show by myself. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga. Was the, remember how Kevin Hart was screaming and shit when he seen Beyonce? I was a little cooler, but nigga. This is when her mama was making her outfits and shit. Hell yeah. But anyway, so I seen uh, Tombstone back there. I'm like, what's up, nigga? What you doing? He's like, oh, no, nah, I'm just out here, man. Just come to the concert. Da, 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 blah, say, Skippy. I'm like, cool, 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 cool. I'm like... Shit, you all right, nigga? You got it? You good? He looked at me and he laughed like, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And then like months and months and months and months and months later, I say some nigga trying to rob him or some shit. Down in Cleveland and shit. And shit went backwards and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, sad, man. Real fucking sad, man. Jay-Z. Um, he, he rapped some stuff. Yeah, that was between Jay-Z and um, LeBron. That was they thing. That wasn't, they had nothing to do with Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know. I think LeBron went out there and was like, I run New York. So Jay-Z was like on the king of Cleveland or some shit like that or whatever. That was they that was they they combo, you know, them having their conversation, you know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony is a dream. It's like a dream. Like a dream come true. Five five different motherfuckers become great friends to make something of themselves and to this day together they're stronger than they could ever be apart you know what I'm saying so I think that's what it is about Bone Thugs and Harmony you know what I mean it's, it's a good feeling you know it's just a really good feeling it's full of emotions it's full of different motherfuckers feeling a different way you know, so I think that's the difference in our group and most of everything else that's going on out there. You know what I'm saying? We've been there, you know what I mean? Through the little wars in the East Coast, West Coast, and, you know, from CDs to turn to iTunes, and, you know, uh, you know, we've been there. Like, you feel me? So I just think that's the difference. It's just like, 
the vibe and shit that we give out to motherfuckers. Like we're not so above motherfuckers. You know, where they can't relate to us. Like, yeah, I can feel that. That kind of makes sense. Stacks seem like the quiet one, but you don't want to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? So on and so forth. So you can get the vibe and all of that cool stuff along with it. So that's why I just think the difference is in bone. It's like, you know, a lot of people whole gimmick is I'm just going to be flashing money and showing a lot of money. And that's cool. That's going to always catch a motherfucker's eye. Always. But I think that Bones vibe is family, togetherness, a real ass group. When you see Bone Thugs in Harmony, you think of Tupac. When you see Bone Thugs in Harmony, you think of Biggie. That's just what that's just what it is. You just that's just what you think. You think of that era of music, you know. So <clears throat> we're just watching everybody pass on through. You know what I mean? My whole thing is telling these young cats, please save your money, kiddo. You're going to want to be able to delay hundreds all the way down. You know what I mean? 20 years from now. I've been in the game for 25 years. Man, I got so many good songs, man. I could never even think of what I think is the best. I like it. You know, I like... My thing is I like to put together bodies of work. Like, I like to put together entire records. And I do those things so when motherfuckers go back, they can be like, that nigga was on some shit. That shit, that was good. That Nobody really, really heard this record from me. But that nigga, this is that shit. You feel me? This is, they the same. He the same. They did a whole bunch of work. You know, so I always wanted my body of work to reflect the real music listener. Not a motherfucker that just follow the trends and shit. Like the, the the music listener, you know what I mean? So that's that's kind of like how I've been getting down. That's why I got like, you know, 25 records um, that I think is uh, out around there. And I have the records that I consider my special records. You know what I'm saying? Because some people like to re recycle music and shit. I ain't into that. <clears throat> you keep that shit real and call it... Um, um, archives or some cool shit like that but don't try to put out some shit from 10 years ago right right now and shit because it loses its luster when people don't understand it's older lyrics and shit but you know shit changes though you know shit changes all the fucking time So that's the kind of artist that I've, I've always strived to be, you know, somebody that uh, just has a large body of music, you know, um, for motherfuckers to enjoy, for when motherfuckers get into Bone Thugs and Harmony and then get into the individual members, they can, you know, check shit out, you know what I'm saying, like, damn, that nigga didn't leave us high and dry, that nigga gave us a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, so that's my whole thing to make sure that I always do that. I don't even really think it's a change in music. Cause Kendrick Kendrick Lamar that ain't went there, ain't went nowhere. Uh, J. Cole ain't went nowhere. Uh so we are at no lack of superstars. We aren't at a lack of talent out here. It's just, you know, what's being played is what's being played. I think that people are yearning for what's on the radio to be accepted by everybody, like that good old feeling that Bone Thugs and Harmony gave to the younger people, to the older people, nobody could deny Crossroads. So I think that people judge musicians on that vibe. When you're making everybody in the world say, now that's a good song. That's what basically makes you legendary. To me. Or one of the factors. You know what I'm saying? Could be a whole bunch of other shit, but you know, whatever. Yeah, Kendrick and J. Cole, yeah, definitely. I only hear good things about them. 
and I really don't, I listen to J. Cole, I fuck with J. Cole, you know, but, like, it ain't me listening to him every day, it's, it's the vibe of the people, what people, the, the vibe people are giving, as you can see, he keep on stacking Grammys, because obviously they don't think that this new shit is good, you know? That's why, Je that's why uh, Kendrick Lamar keep on winning all them goddamn awards over everybody. So that might not just be what we think. It might be what everybody think. As far as going to the Grammys, you gotta, um, you gotta like, you gotta like get your tickets and shit and it's like a whole process of shit you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just your people who you fuck with have to be well versed with what's necessary and what needs to be done. But yeah, so everybody take care of yourselves. I'm going to go ahead and start breaking this uh, furniture down, man. Get it together. Stay good. God bless. You know what I'm saying? Love one another. All that good stuff. What else? Just all the, all, everything good. If it's good, that's what I mean.